After Torchwood developed the Dimension Cannon, Rose insisted on being the first volunteer to use it. Audio, The Endless Night, aiming to find the Doctor to warn him about the oncoming darkness. TV, Turn Left, Journey's End. As the Dimension Cannon was imprecise, Rose was forced to search through different universes to determine if they were getting closer to the Doctor's universe, with Pete acting as control back in Pete's world. In the first parallel universe, which was doomed to extinction as its own sun was about to be extinguished, Rose found the counterpart of Clive Finch, also a conspiracy theorist, albeit one who knew nothing of the doctor. Through him, she found the counterparts of her mother and father, whom had broken up after only a year and so had no children, however, their encounter with Rose led to them rekindling their love in the remaining time they had. Acting against Pete's orders, Rose took a risk to bring Clive back with her despite the Dimension Cannon not being guaranteed to accommodate more than one person at that point. Audio, The Endless Night. Rose justified her actions as Clive accompanied her on her expedition to the Second Universe, where she met the widowed counterpart of her father, who did not have a daughter but a son, Rob Tyler, who was in a relationship with Mickey Smith as Rose had been. There, the Earth had been struck by extreme global warming believed to have been covertly caused by aliens, Despite a regression of technology in an attempt to slow it, it was predicted that humanity would become extinct within 70 years. Audio, The Flood, for the third expedition, Rose was accompanied by Pete while Clive served as control. In this universe, Rose and Pete discovered that the latter's counterpart, Sir Pete Tyler, was responsible for soul tech, which allowed the consciousness of deceased humans to live on in the soul machines. Audio, Ghost Machines, in the fourth universe, Rose was accompanied by Jackie, and they found themselves at that world's Powell estate as the human race faced impending destruction at the hands of planetoid EK-56. A common factor of these four universes, observed by Rose Tyler, was that there was no trace of the Doctor, or of the high-profile alien incidents which had threatened the Earth of End space. Audio, The Last Party of Earth, initially, Rose thought only the Doctor could help, but later she realized, the both of the Doctor and Donna, together, were needed to stop the stars from going out, after Rose discovered readings showing reality had bent around Donna, since the day Donna was born. TV, Turn Left, in 2009, after preventing a million Londoners from being forcibly converted into adipose, Donna asked a woman to tell Donna's mother Sylvia that Donna left her car keys in, that bin there. The woman turned out to be Rose, who walked off and faded away. TV, Partners in Crime. When the doctor and Donna were conversing with two psychics in 79 AD Pompeii, one of them, Lucius Petrus Dextrus, noted, she is returning, a foreshadowing of Rose's return. TV, The Fires of Pompeii. When Donna Noble was in the TARDIS during the Santaran invasion, Rose's face popped up on the screen for a moment, silently calling for the doctor. Donna did not notice however. TV, The Poison Sky, on the planet Midnight, Rose appeared on a screen in the Crusader 50 shuttle bus, silently shouting, Doctor. However, the Doctor was turned away from the screen and did not see Rose. TV, Midnight. When Donna Noble had a parallel world created around her, Rose met her several times. She said she could travel between worlds, and had done so many times, searching for the Doctor. She appeared several times, including on Christmas Eve 2007, when the Doctor, lacking Donna to pull him back, was killed defeating the Ranos. In 2008, the night Donna was sacked by Jival Chowdhury, Rose told Donna to use her raffle ticket to stay out of London that Christmas, which was when London was scheduled for destruction by the Titanic. Donna and Rose also met in 2009 on the evening the Santaran attack of the Earth with Atmos was thwarted by Torchwood 3 at the cost of their lives. Three weeks later as the stars started to disappear, Donna followed Rose to a unit base, where technology from the doctor's dying TARDIS revealed the time beetle on Donna's back. Obeying Rose's instructions, Donna was sent back to force her past self to turn left on Little Sutton Street, heading for the Chiswick High Road, and not right, towards Griffin's Parade, on that fateful day in June 2007, so that she would work at H.C. Clements and meet the doctor six months later. When the parallel world Donna did so, at the cost of her life, Rose held her as she died and whispered a message for the doctor, Bad Wolf. TV, turn left. 